Hi, welcome to the Braid Zone. Today I'd like to talk about curling hair. This was half the hair used. This was twice as much used. You've got a big soft curl. You have a smaller, shorter, tighter curl. Let's look at the amount of hair here. This is pretty thick hair. It's pretty dense. It's pretty straight. As we curl the hair up, more and more of this hair is applied to the curling iron, which means the only hair that's really receiving maximum benefit of the heat is the hair immediately touching the iron. I can actually hold this and it doesn't hurt, which means there's a lot of insulation happening here, which also means that heat is not being applied to a large portion of this hair, which means it's not going to have a good strong curl because hair is going to work best if it's actually hot. And then that curl stays best when it's dry or cold. And the easiest way to help it keep its shape is to not let go of it, to not let gravity drag it down and pull it straight. So because it's still hot, we're just going to pin it in place until it's cold. Okay, so the next one, we're going to break in half. With half the amount, the hair that's being rolled up onto this curling iron is actually touching the curling iron. There's less insulation. It's not protecting itself from the heat. There's not some closer to the heat and some further away from the heat. And then when I touch it, it's actually, the whole thing is hot. It hurts. So I can tell that immediately this is going to be a lot more successful than either of these curls because the hair, all of the hair, wrapped around this iron is actually receiving the heat. This is the most delicate part of the curl because the weight, this gravity is going to drag this down. I'm going to let it get cold. This is cooled. This is cooled. This was half the hair used. This was twice as much used. You've got a big soft curl. You have a smaller, shorter, tighter curl. There's less gravity pulling this down. There's more gravity pulling this down. The hairspray encasing this one is only on a small layer of the hair on the outside. There's no hairspray on here yet. When I do spray it, the hair spray is able to reach more hair on this curl because there's less hair. Similar to when you cook spaghetti noodles, when the spaghetti noodle is hot or wet, it's malleable. You can pretty much do anything with it and it's not going to break. It just bends and moves. If you were to let that noodle dry overnight um, in the shape of a curl, then it would hold its shape, curl shape. And the only way to remove that curl shape is then to heat it up, get it wet. And you can make small or large curls in hair. So how do you keep small or large curls in the hair and keep it as sturdy as a noodle? It's still hot. We're just going to pin it in place until it's cold. And then that curl stays best when it's dry or cold. Thank you for joining us again at the Brain Zone and we'll see you next time.